In this video, we will show how easy it is to load data into HDFS using Pintao Data Integration's graphical programming capabilities. We will show two common techniques. First, we will create a simple job that copies files from our host operating system into HDFS. Then we will demonstrate how to create an HDFS file as the output of an ETL transformation. Let's get started by creating a new job in Spoon, PDI's GUI development environment. So we will say new job. Every PDI job must start with a start step. And this is going to be a very simple job. We're just going to copy files into HDFS. We'll grab the Hadoop copy file step, connect these up, open up the dialog for the copy file step. We need to specify where we're going to get the files from, so we'll browse for a local operating system. And I happen to know they're in this folder here. Here are the three files we're going to copy. Say OK. Now we need to tell where we're going to put the files, the target. So we'll connect to HDFS. And we're going to put these in the weblogs raw directory. OK. Now we specify what files we want, and we'll use a regular expression so we get all three of them loaded. Say add, and we're good to go. We don't need to create a destination folder or replace existing files. Certainly if you're in a production mode, you might uh, be uh, creating folders dynamically and so forth. Uh, notice that all three of these fields can be set by environmental variables, so a lot of richness in terms of uh, creating variability here. This, for the purposes of demo, we're just hardwiring some stuff. Say OK. And we need to save our job, and we'll call this uh, load. HDFS. And let's go ahead and run it. And the job's already finished. All three files have been loaded. We can prove that. We'll go out to our handy command line. HDFS ls slash weblogs. Oops, typo. Slash raw. And there are our three files. So PDI's rich job control language enables much more complex logic to be encoded. We just scratched the surface. You could include things like file transfers from various uh, protocols. You could include conditions to check for file existence, for file to appear. We encourage you to explore the richness of this language. Next, we will show you how you can use classic ETL data transformation programming to create HDFS files. We have data in a MySQL database that contains category assignments for the sections of our website. We want to copy this data into HDFS to enable faster lookup within various MapReduce programs. So let's get started by creating a new transformation. And we're going to read data via table input step from our MySQL database. So we'll get table input, grab that, open this up. We need to create a new uh, connection. And that connection is going to be a MySQL connection. We'll give it a name of demo. And then the host name is local host. The database name is demo. Username is demo. And the password. Let's test that. I typed that in correctly. I did. All right. Let's now uh, grab our SQL statement from the database by uh, selecting all the columns from the sections table. You want to select all the fields? Yes, I do. Let's preview. And indeed, we have all 34 records there. Say OK. Now we want to stream this data into uh, an HDFS uh, file. So we're going to go to our big data category here and grab the Hadoop file output step. And then we'll connect these up. Now for the Hadoop file output step, we need to basically tell where we're going to put this, uh, this data. So we're going to browse. We're going to connect to HDFS. We're going to put it into the web logs sections folder. And we'll give the file name sections.txt as well. And here's txt there. The content, it's of, type, it's of a format Unix, no header. We'll make this be tab delimited. There we go. Let's go grab the fields from our stream. Uh, we'll trim them, and we're good. All right, so now let's save this transformation and run it. And we'll call this load sections. Say OK, and we can run. It should be 34 records. Yes, indeed, it's finished. Uh, how do we know what's out there? Well, let's go and uh, let's use um, Spoon to, to interrogate the HDFS. So we'll go ahead and grab a file input step here, and we'll browse. We'll connect to HDFS, web logs, sections, and there's the file. Now let's add that, uh, and then we make sure we get the content right. We said it was of Unix. We said there was no header, and we said that we tab delimited it. Um, and then we can go ahead and grab our fields, uh, get fields. It notices that there's two fields in all the records. It doesn't know the name because there's no header, but we can just do a preview rows, and we should see the 34 records indeed there in the file system. 
So, in this video, you learned how to load data into HDFS using PDI's graphical programming language. We did not create any operating system scripts. We didn't do any Java programming. We just used standard ETL technology to load data into Hadoop. Thank you for watching, and thanks for your interest in Pentaho.